Hello everyone. Good evening. How are you all doing? I hope everyone is doing great and awesome in this study time, right? Okay. So for those who don't know me, myself Amir Basit, master teacher of J Physics at Vedantu. You can call me Amir for anything and everything, but only for physics. Okay. So guys, today I'm not online. Coming on, I I couldn't come online. Don't worry at all. Whatever things I'm explaining, I'll explain you in such a way that you will get it to the best. Okay. Okay. So let's start. So what we have today in the MCQ series, which topic we are going to discuss? So we are going to discuss. two simple topics today which is em waves and dual nature of the particles right so though it is some simple you have to make sure that you are not going to lose any marks in this particular topics right so i hope you all are ready so let's start with it before starting i just want to tell you one thing over here guys if you are facing any difficulty with any of the topics suppose wave optics you haven't understood which means the entire theory so what you can do come to vedantu side right so buy your micro courses which means wave optics if you want you can buy that micro course how much you have to pay how much you have to pay look just 9 rupees only you have to pay look how awesome it is right so come and do it okay it will be benefiting uh, you a lot right in understanding that chapter so let's not waste our time here we are with the first question so let's start doing it so the question one goes like this a proton a neutron an electron and an alpha particle have same energy their energy is the same so their de broglie wavelength is compared as so how is a relationship between the wavelength is what the question is all about right so let's write the formula for de broglie wavelength so who is going to tell me what is the formula for de broglie wavelength the formula goes like this lambda is equal to h divided by p right i hope everyone knows this formula so what is this p p is the momentum what is the relationship between momentum and kinetic energy i hope everyone knows momentum is equal to root of 2 m into kinetic energy yes or no so lambda is proportional to or equal to h by root of 2 m into kinetic energy for each and every particle over here kinetic energy is same which is given h is a constant planck's constant is also same which means lambda is inversely proportional to the root of mass right which means it depends only on the mass wherever the mass is greater wavelength will be wavelength will be lesser right so if i start writing it in the form of uh, in the order of wavelength let us look which one is having the lesser mass among all the four particles given which one is having the lesser mass among this proton neutron electron and alpha particle electron have the lesser mass right so there you can expect the greater wavelength so which option so let's see whether the option b is correct so here electron is greater what about proton and neutron what about their masses their mass is almost the same right so as the mass is almost the same lambda will also be equal but it will be lesser than electron so you can see over here proton and neutron are equal but they are lesser what about alpha particle even the mass is again bigger so wavelength will be again lesser so on the least part you have the wavelength of alpha particles right i hope you have understood i hope you think that this question was more good so you can find these kind of questions from dual nature so let's move to next one where is our next next yes so here we have the next question so in photoelectric effect what determines the maximum velocity of electron reaching the collector right okay so uh, let me draw a simple figure over here right of what i'm going to draw i'm going to draw the figure of that photoelectric effect right okay so here you have the positive and this is the connection yes or no so you know that one more thing i have seen photoelectric equation what does it say so the total energy h nu is equal to h nu not which is a work function plus kinetic energy you right okay or you can write kinetic energy is equal to h nu minus h nu not so from here you can tell kinetic energy is dependent upon what the frequency of incident radiation alone right if you increase it the kinetic energy or the velocity will increase one thing next it also depend upon the work function of the metal if the work function of the metal is less what happen to kinetic energy it increases so velocity increases one more thing if you are increasing the positive potential of the collector plate 
okay what will happen the electrons whatever is emitted from the emitter plate will have more acceleration and so the velocity will increases so as i have explained the velocity is dependent upon frequency of incident radiation work function of the metal and the potential difference between the emitter and collector it is dependent on all the three so which option we should be going for we can go for the option d right okay very good that's an awesome thing okay next electromagnetic waves traveling in a medium have a relative permeability mu r and a relative permittivity epsilon okay uh, sorry k as 2.14 or epsilon r you can write it so the speed of electromagnetic wave in medium must be so this is a question from em waves i hope everyone knows the formula for finding out the velocity of electromagnetic waves by using the permittivity and permeability what is the formula velocity v is equal to 1 by root of epsilon into permeability yes or no okay so 1 by root of epsilon can be written as epsilon 0 into epsilon r and mu can be written as mu naught into mu r okay so how can you write this 1 by root of epsilon naught mu naught into root of epsilon r mu r what is 1 by root of epsilon naught mu naught that is equal to 1 by root of epsilon naught mu naught is a proved value yeah, and it is already determined value what is its value it is velocity of light which is 3 into 10 power 8 so this i am going to write it as 3 into 10 power 8 what do you have root of mu r into epsilon r what is mu r 1.3 into epsilon r will be equal to 2.3 one four so once you start doing the calculation you will be getting the current value of velocity so this will be coming almost around the 1.8 into 10 power 8 so you don't have to do the exact calculation because this is almost 3 power 10 power 8 this is not going to change the power of 10 right it will change the value of 3 because all other options are 4 6 2 and also don't do the exact calculation which will lose you will lose your time a lot so this you can just say that the answer for this particular question is option a which is 1.8 into 10 power 8 all good happy if you all are happy why we have to stay with the first question itself waves in decreasing order of their wavelength are this is a simple question which can come directly as such in the decreasing order of wavelength you know that energy is equal to h nu h c by lambda nu is equal to c by lambda so energy can also be written as h c by lambda which means lambda is inversely proportional to energy that can also be done right okay which means lesser wavelength means more energy right okay so more wavelength means lesser energy so the one which is having lesser energy will be having more wa wavelength right okay so among the four the one which is having lesser energy is what which is the one which is having lesser energy it is nothing other than the radio waves right on the other end you have the gamma rays and the x-rays right so the maximum wavelength will be for minimum energy which is radio waves and the minimum will be for maximum energy which is x-rays so those who can't understand i'll write the equation on the figure energy e is equal to h nu right which is h c by lambda okay so lambda max means as it is inversely proportional energy will be minimum that's all i told now it is on the basis of infrared and visible which one is having minimum energy compared to infrared and visible so infrared has the minimum so it has the wavelength greater than the visible just like that right if someone knows the value of wavelength or the comparison of the wavelength they, they can just like write like this right okay it's very good simple as that right so i explain in the by making it connected with energy that's all okay why where is our next question yes a metal surface ejects electron when hit by green light but nothing when it hit by yellow light why because green light has better energy or greater energy than yellow right when you go from violet indigo blue green yellow okay yellow has lesser wavelength sorry more wavelength so lesser energy 
right okay so the electron will be ejected when the surface is hit by any electromagnetic wave which is having energy greater than green okay blue is it having greater energy violet indigo blue green right it is having more frequency blue so wavelength is lesser or you can say that just talking on the base of frequency it is having more frequency so the energy is equal to greater because e is equal to h nu so blue light has greater energy so it can eject out the electron from the surface heat rays which is infrared rays and the red light are having lesser energy so it is not possible what is not possible photoelectric effect is not possible with these three uh, <coughs> em waves okay next which of the following statement is correct regarding the photoelectric experiment which all are correct let's see photo current increases with intensity of light yes or no if i am increasing the intensity of light intensity means number of photons if number of photons increases number of electrons emitted increases if electron increases what happens the current increases so the photo current increases with increase of light uh, with intensity of light is correct only next stopping potential increases with increase in intensity of instant light no it is a false statement why because for, for, uh, stopping potential is directly proportional to the or equal to kinetic energy kinetic energy increases only if the energy of the incoming light ray increases energy increases only if the frequency of the incoming light ray increases so the stopping potential has only connection with the frequency of the incoming light rays it has nothing to do with the intensity of the incoming light ray so it's a false so the photo current increases with increase in frequency is also a false statement so which one is our correct answer option a right okay a question from em waves what does it say the electric field and magnetic field e and b represent electric okay so then the direction of propagation of the em wave you know that electric field is there and the magnetic field is there both are perpendicular to each other okay their okay their vibration is perpendicular to each other and the direction of propagation of the electromagnetic wave is perpendicular to both of them which means velocity is perpendicular to e and it is perpendicular to b also so if both of them has to be so or uh, if the velocity has to be perpendicular to both of them how will you make it as an equation or the direction of velocity the direction of velocity will be in the direction of i'm not writing because everyone know it will be in the direction of e cross b it is not b cross e okay so it is in the direction of e cross b because in the direction or in the perpendicular direction of both electric field and the magnetic field okay so please remember that it is not b cross e it is e cross b okay good next the correct option if speed of gamma ray x-ray microwave uh, their symbols are given respectively will be what is the relationship between them what is the relationship between the velocity of all the electromagnetic waves in a medium the velocity of all the electromagnetic wave in a space if you talk about it is going to be the same right what is its value 3 into 10 power 8 yes or no so what is it you can write vg equal to vx is equal to vm just like that i hope nobody is having a doubt regarding that topic yes einstein photoelectric equation very simple total energy whatever is given by the light is equal to work function plus kinetic energy so which one is our option h nu whichever is the energy given by us is equal to h nu plus h nu naught which is the work function plus half mv square good understood everyone i hope yes very good so these are basic questions and what i have to tell you now guys i hope you have understood what all it is being discussed in the class right okay now what i want to tell you is guys those who are facing any difficulty in the theory part okay in any of the thing i have already done a video uh, regarding the theory and the previous year question also so you can type my name and the particular chapter where you can get access to that okay it will be very much helpful not only theory previous year questions are also done you will find it more useful so go and watch it right good now what i want to tell you is guys if you have liked or if you have understood my class what is preventing you from hitting the like button don't <coughs> wait just hit the like button and if you think that 
your friends is also going to get benefited from this video and if it is going to boost her or his mark in the examination please share it with your friends and there comes the last part which is a subscribe button okay so it has the benefit to both of us first i'll tell you my benefit so if you press the subscribe button i'll get to know that you're understanding you're liking my classes so which will motivate me to do more and more classes so it's a good thing right so i will also feel happy as a teacher so you are getting excited for it so now what is a uh, good part for you if you press the subscribe button you'll get the notification from the vedantu side about all the classes that is going to get uploaded in the channel so that you can watch it and increase your improve your knowledge and put it on your answer sheet which will give you a lot much of marks look we both are benefited right so what do you have to do for these many benefits just move your cursor point it on the subscribe button just press it it is not going to put any harm on you just take one or two seconds from your life that's all so if you can give me that for my lecture it is a great thing okay so i'm so happy so happy for listening to my class till we meet next time bye guys and bye good evening <laughs>